we are going to do exam number one for PowerPoint from Gmetrics. There are five tasks in each project. We are going to start with project number one. It's asking me to change the slide master theme color to blue. So in order to get to the master slide, I have to go to view slide master. And you can see the, the color is not blue. So it's not a theme, it's a color. Okay, the theme is the background, the colors are the text. So I'm gonna pull it down and I'm gonna do colors. And then I'm going to close out of that and I am going to mark as complete. Task number two says on slide number two, I want to make bullet points, but I want to use an image. So I'm going to highlight, I'm going to go to bullet, I'm going to go to bullets and numbering, and I want to do pictures from a file. Yours will, all, your Gmetrics folder will be in the documents. Mine is, not in the documents, so I have got to, mine's in the documents here. So I'm gonna open that up, I'm gonna find my Gmetrics, and then I'm gonna find the PNG, which is the graphic, and it's gonna insert as a bullet. Task number three, on page three, I want to, using the title, so I'm gonna stay on page two, and then I'm going to import um, another PowerPoint. So I am going to reuse some slides from another PowerPoint. And I am going to browse. And I need to go and find my documents folder and Gmetrics. Once again, yours will be right here, documents. And then I want to open up the FT draft. And the FT draft has five slides. I only want to insert board of directors. So I'm gonna click and the board of directors now become slide three. I had to be on slide two in order for it to go afterwards. If I was on slide three, it would have made this slide four. So make sure your cursor is on the right slide before you do it. Otherwise, drag and drop it where it's supposed to be. I'm gonna close that up. So I was re when it asks you to use slides from another file, you have to go down to reuse slides. Task number four in the right pane of the slide title. So I'm gonna come down here and the slide title is Fusion Tomo. I want to insert a video and this time it comes right to my Gmetrics. Insert the video to the right. So here's my video. So mark that complete. In a new slide at the end of the presentation, so here's the end of the presentation. I want to import the leadership. So it's in a DOCX, which is a Word document. So it's probably just an outline. So I want to come here to new slide and you are going to, from an outline, and of course it jumps right to my Gmetrix and it's a Word doc and it's called leadership. So then you can bring, if it's outlined in Word, you can bring it right into your PowerPoint. And then once you are done, they're all marked. We're going to grade it. So I got them all correct. So now I. Project number two. The first thing it's asking you to do is on the photo on slide two, it's asking you to add a bevel perspective left white style. So you need to click on the image, go to format, pull down the styles, and we need to do a bevel perspective left white. So mark that as complete. On slide three, we need to click on the video and we need to go to playback. So go to the video tool, tools, the toolbar playback. First thing we wanna do is it's starting. It's really right now it's start on mouse click. Well, we don't want it on mouse click, we want it on automatic. So as soon as the slide 
goes is video starts. And then we want to re, basically it says redisplay the title screen after the playback. So basically what you want to do is you want to rewind it. So we're going to mark that. Task number three, three says that you want to go to the chart on slide four and you want to take the IEEE -E -E wireless chart and you want to apply style nine. So I want to do design and I want to do style nine. I'm on style 15 right now, so I'm going to back it up to style nine. Mark it. Modify the design of the table on slide five. So I'm going to pull it down to slide five. So now the table, I want it to be light, style three, accent six. So I am going to go to the design, pull it down. Here's my lights. Here's what I'm already at. It's got a box around it. I'm at light style three, accent five. I just want to go to accent six. So I'm going to change that and mark it. Then it says change the colors of the graphic on slide six. So I'm going to go to slide six and click on graphics. Then I'm going to go to design and it says change color. So when I click it, it's only going to say two, three, four, and it's not going to say colorful, but you scroll up, then it says colorful, and then it will say two to three, three to four, four to five, five to six. So then that would change the graphic to be um, accent colors five to six. So now I'm going to grade it and see that I have everything all correct. We are on project three, task number one, says duplicate the slide titled most popular. So I'm gonna to go to the most popular and I wanna right click and I wanna duplicate the slide. So now it becomes slide four. So I'm gonna mark that. Task number two says make the slide titled other activities visible. Okay, so you can see other activities. You can see that it is not visible. It is hidden. So now you can um, unhide the slide. So it becomes not visible. Okay, so um, that's how you do the slide title. Task three. Display the date in the upper right-hand corner of Handouts. So I want to go to View, and I want to go to Handouts, and I want to click the placeholder Date. So it's in the upper right-hand corner of every page when I go to print it. Reorder the presentation so the last slide titled Adventurous Trails is slide three. The easiest way to do that is you can go under View, you can go slide sorter, and so you can then look, be able to see all of them, and then Adventurous Trails needs to be slide three, so I'm going to move it up here. So the easiest way is to go to slide sorter so you can see them all, and you can drag and drop them wherever you want. Mark that complete. Change the handout settings to three per page. So when I go to print, I want to make sure that I hit three slides per page, and you can see I have three slides per page. Mark complete. And let's grade to see if we've got them all complete. So we have them all complete. We are starting project four. Task number one is on the title page, insert a colored outline dark yellow accent to oval shape. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to my shapes. I'm going to go to my oval and it's telling me I need to position the shape behind the image of the bike. So I'm going to just draw it on the bike. It says an outline so I don't need any fill. So I'm going to say no fill. Then I'm going to come over here to outline and I'm going to find my dark yellow accent two. So that's how I get that circle. Then it tells me I need a height of two 
and a width of 3.5. And I want to position the shape behind the image of the bike. So I want to make sure I send it backwards so that the bike is in front and then my image. So that's how that one is taken. So let's mark that. On slide three, add touring bikes as a title. So it's right here, it's expecting a title. So I'm going to put touring bikes. And it's formatted for all caps, so I'll just leave that. Slide number um, three is telling me I need to insert a table that has three columns and six rows. And I'm going to leave the style to the default. Create a custom slideshow. So I'm going to go to slideshow and I want to create a brand new custom slideshow. So I'm going to do new. The custom slideshow is going to be called hard sale bike sale. And I only want to use slides one, two, four, and six. So I'm going to add them to my new slide and I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to end it because I don't want to show it. So it doesn't tell me to show. So I now have a custom one. Task number five says disable slideshow options for narration. So I, I want to make sure that I am here on my slideshow. Play narration. I'm going to click off. Click off timing and click off media because I don't want to, I don't want to set my video or my um, PowerPoint to do that. Uh, mark. So now I'm going to grade and I got them all right. So you're ready. Project number five. We're going to add the text summer success to the subject of the property of this file. So anytime it asks you to do property, you're going to do file information and it's going to say show all properties. So now you're going to find the subject and you are going to type in summer success and make sure you click off of it. Mark as complete and then hit the arrow to go back. Task number two says on slide two, you are going to do, and it, and it gives you all three of these, so it wants you to do it all at one time. So highlight the 10%, the hold down the control key, and do all the numbers and it wants you to do font light blue so light blue is a standard color so I'm gonna go down here to light blue and I must have clicked off of it because it didn't take it so let me do it again pull down light blue then the last second thing it asks you is to equalize the characters well you there's nothing here to tell you to equalize so there is this little bent arrow here to get the whole entire font out and then you want to equalize the character height so if you click that underneath the font that will increase that so you want to have these highlighted you want to hit your bent arrow and you want to equalize the character height Mark that. Task number three says on slide two, apply a shadow effect for the sun. So here's the sun. I'm going to go to my format and I am going to do a shadow effect. So I'm going to do the shape. I'm going to do shadow. And it's asking me for inner, bottom, right. So I have to go to inner, inside and then find bottom right. So mark that. Task number four says on page five, the image I want to crop. So underneath the format, I'm going to go to crop and I'm going to shape it and I'm going to shape it to a oval. And so now the image is an oval. Mark complete. Task number five 
on the last slide, I want to change this to be smart art. So now I want to, I'm not sure which one is the basic process. So I'm going to go to more smart art, go to process, and then my basic. And I'm going to convert my words. I highlighted the words and I'm going to convert the words to actual smart art. Press complete and then grade the project. And if you got them all right, you can continue. If not, at this point, if you can physically do it yourself, you would hit retry and then redo the ones that you got wrong. Project number six. Task number one wants you to locate the center of the slide by displaying the alignment guide. So you need to go to view. You need to then click guides. And you can see that the center of the slide is right where they intersect. And you can complete that. Task number two wants you to change the chart to a clustered bar. So you want to, you can either right click on it and you could change, you can um, change the chart change the chart type you can um, go to go down and do a bar and then go across and do a clustered bar so it's just going the other way so that's a clustered bar task number three on the last slide reorder the shape so the diagram reads so it's going to be smart art so you want the diagram to read um, quality ingredients plus exciting flavors equals um, amazing. So I'm going to click on this and that's all I'm going to do is if I right click, I can move up. Okay, so I'm just going to organize those and I'm going to have the quality and the exciting and the amazing. So I have the quality plus the exciting flavors <laughs> equals amazing ice cream. Right. Task number four, apply a transition effect duration of 1.5 to all the slides. So I want to do transition. So I'm going to click transition. I'm going to do a duration. It's set at two. I'm going to do 1.50, press enter, and then I'm going to apply it to all the slides. Okay, and you can see when I click, it's 1.5 on each slide. Task number five, set the print options to be high quality. So when I go to print, I will pull this down and I want, mine's right now is scale to fit paper. I'm gonna do high quality and then complete. I'm going to grade the project. Task number, project number seven, task number one says apply the ripple transition to all slides. So I go to transition, I have to find the ripple, and then that's the ripple, but I want to do it on every slide. So I have to come up here to the right and say apply to all slides. I'm going to mark complete. Task number two on slide two it says modify the animation so that all the list items enter from bottom right. So you can see if I click on them here, if I don't have the animation, I'm going to go to animation. I'm going to go to animation pane and I want to see. So I have them all listed here. They're all in order, but the problem is I want them from the bottom right. So you have to go to effect options and they're all coming from the right. So now I want them from the bottom right. And then it will preview it. Task number three on slide three. So I'm gonna go to slide three. I wanna make a comment next to 75. So I wanna insert 
and make a comment, and my comment is going to be update the fee to $90. So if I'm proofreading it for somebody, they will see my comment. On slide five, I want to modify the animation so the items appear in order. So let me click on slide five. So I want theory, skills, ocean drive. And if I click my animation and I click my pane, you can see that I have ocean, theory, and skills. So I have to drag the, I want to move the ocean. So I want to drag, okay, so I'm going to move it down. So I have to click this arrow, not, not the arrow on it. So I have to click these arrows to move it. So it's going to say theory, skills, ocean. Task number five says remove all document properties and personal information from the presentation. So that is a, um, an option. So you go to file option, um, file, uh, it's info. Okay, and we wanna inspect for information. So I would go to file info and I'm gonna inspect the document. And I want to remove, so I'm going to inspect it. So I want to remove, I don't want to remove the comments. I want to re remove document um, properties and, and personal information. So I want to remove that. And then I want to close. And then I want to complete. And then I want to grade. And I got them all right. So now we are finished with um, exam number one.